In this video, we are going to show you what to consider when quoting a price for a statistics consultation. When it comes to quoting a price for a statistics consultation, many statisticians tend to think about the service they are offering as if it were a physical product or tangible. This tends to happen naturally if we do not explore or question the nature and implications of that service. After all, what, in fact, am I doing in a consultation? What am I offering to my clients? Am I just making reports and statistical analysis? The answer to this last question is no. If you want to know more about how and how much to charge for a statistics consultation service, stay here with us. Let's dive in. What should I consider when quoting the price of my work in a statistics consultation? Deadlines. It is very important to understand how much time your client has. Is there some flexibility? Must you complete the work in a given time frame? If you cannot work with a certain time restriction, tell this to your client explaining why. Is it for yesterday? Will you have to drop everything you are doing to devote your time exclusively to the urgent needs of your client? Then charge more. You can be sure that if you have a solution to what your clients need and can still meet the time restrictions presented by them, they will notice, and the perceived value of your work will increase. On the other hand, your clients may not have a set time frame. They simply may want to have everything ready within a reasonable amount of time. Complexity of the work. The ease and speed of analyzing data, thanks due to statistical software, do not necessarily mean your consultations will not be somewhat complex. Never underestimate the value of your work and think of it as being easy. In many cases, the work may seem simple to you because you are an expert in the area of statistics, but for your clients, this may be quite different. The work may be exceedingly complex for them, and that is why they are looking for help. What results are you delivering? Your clients will be the best people to tell you what a positive impact your work will have on their lives. After your help, your clients may be able to defend theses and receive their PhDs. Or perhaps you will help them bring new products to the market. Or maybe you will help them through your classes better understand the discipline of statistics, leading them to succeed in the demanding statistics courses they are taking at college. You, as a consultant, will be helping your clients achieve their goals. Thus, you will be adding value to their lives. Alleviating anxiety, frustration, and stress. Anxiety, frustration, and stress are some of the key elements that motivate people to seek help. An example would be the stress that people may feel when dealing with statistics, making them wonder whether or not they can even conduct their research satisfactorily or do well on their exams. You, as a consultant, can help to alleviate some of this stress, frustration, and anxiety. And as a result, your services are benefiting your clients in a way that goes beyond mere data analysis. Your brand or reputation. It doesn't matter if you work independently as a statistical consultant or if you work with a larger company. In any case, the image of your brand, business or personal, in the client's minds is incredibly important to how they will view your services. A brand that conveys confidence, transparency, respect, clear communication, compassion and empathy will be more valued. Competition. Comparing the prices that other statistical consultants or statistical consulting firms are charging is also a strategy you can use to help you establish your own prices, though this is far from the most important thing to do. Through this analysis, you can use the prices you see in the market as a point of reference. Thus, you can assess whether your price is above or below the common prices you see, and you can make any adjustments you deem necessary. Here's a tip. Never justify the price of your service based solely on how much other statistical consultants are charging. This might make your clients doubt your abilities because it will seem like you do not have much to offer. Costs. Although statistical consulting is a service, there are costs that must be considered in your pricing. After all, you may have expenses regarding materials, transportation, meals, fixed office costs if you have one, and other unexpected expenses that might come up as you are working on the consultation. The costs you have help form the base of the price of your service, and they can be helpful to give you an idea as to how much to charge as a minimum fee. Each client is special. You need to fully understand what your clients want, 
never treat their cases in a generic or standardized way. Treat them with respect, ask intelligent questions to contextualize the problem, show interest, make it clear that you want to hear them out. By doing this, you will have a thorough understanding of their problems and needs. This will be noticed. Always keep in mind that your clients want to be heard. They want to make sure that their work will be in good hands. It's important to highlight that after looking at all the factors that may affect pricing, the price of your work may vary from client to client, even if the service itself does not change much. So how much should I charge? Answer, it's up to you to decide. Consider all the factors mentioned before. Ask your clients questions and try to best understand their needs. Try to see things from their perspective as much as you can. Show them that you understand them and, above all, that you have a solution to what they need. And always remember, since you have the solution to what your clients need, they will be willing to pay as much as necessary. Simply put, you can charge your clients as much as they are willing to pay. And finally, we'll leave you with a valuable mindset to apply every time you are wondering about how much you should charge in a consultation. Price has a strong positive correlation with the value that your consultation delivers to your client. So try to put your price at the same level as the value that you can bring to the life of your client.